Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode five of LIHA ESB. Today, we have Professor Emily here with us to talk about the finance program. So, Professor, can you first introduce yourself? Hi, Bernice. Thank you for talking to me today. I am Professor Emily, and I am an associate professor of finance at the Eberhardt School of Business. I have been with the University of the Pacific since 2013. Wow, perfect. So first question, I'm really curious, what attracted you to be a teacher in this subject in finance? Well, finance is, uh, is a fascinating field. It studies how societies allocate their resources, particularly financial resources, and under uncertainty. So not only does it open the door to its students to really interesting and promising job opportunities after graduation, but it also endows its students with an in-depth knowledge of how humans make decisions, how people interact with one another, how preferences come about, and how to optimally make decisions under uncertainty, which are just really useful and interesting tools to learn and understand as people navigate through their own lives. As a finance professor, I know this from my own decisions that I tap into this knowledge that I have studied in finance as I navigate my own decisions in life. So it's just a fascinating field. Uh, it's, it's really interesting and I'm passionate about it and I want to share that passion with students. So I decided to teach it. So my second question is, what topics in finance will students be exposed here at ESB? So as part of our curriculum, students will take courses in, first of all, basic introductory finance and courses in investments, in financial markets, in corporate finance and international finance. And each one of these courses will introduce our students to a different aspect, to a different area of finance, the big picture of finance. Uh, in financial markets, for example, students will be exposed to the structure of the financial markets and the banking system, particularly the role of the central bank in the economy and the tools and the levers that it has in effect in various economic variables and financial markets. In investments, students will learn in depth about different financial assets, different financial uh, tools, such as stocks and bonds and options and futures contracts. And they will learn how to value these different instruments and they will learn how to construct optimal investment portfolios out of these assets. In corporate finance course, for example, they will learn about how firms optimally make capital budgeting decisions, how they make capital structure decisions, how they make working capital management decisions. And these are really important and useful decisions that firms make on a regular basis. If you are a business, doesn't matter if you're a small business or a large business, you have to know what long-term investments you need to make. Should you buy this warehouse? Should you build this plant? Should you maybe acquire one of your close competitors? That's an example of a capital budgeting question. And if you do decide to pursue that investment, how do you finance that? Do you perhaps issue equity? Do you sell equity? Or do you raise funding through selling bonds? Or maybe you take out a loan? Or perhaps do you reach into your own cash reserves that you've saved up over time? So how do you optimally finance the projects that you desire to pursue? And once you have your operations in place, how do you manage your day-to-day -day finances? So these are the types of questions students will learn about in the corporate finance course. In the international finance course, students will learn about uh, the international financial markets and particularly how exchange rates of currencies come about and what are the economic variables that affect the exchange rates of currencies. And once students have this in-depth knowledge, once they're armed with this knowledge, then they go on and learn how using this knowledge of international financial markets, they can optimize their investment decisions. And from a business's perspective, if you're managing a business, how do you uh, apply this knowledge to hedge in the cash flows of the company? And how do you protect your cash flows from the fluctuations in the currency markets? And uh, the crown jewel of our uh, finance program here at the Eberhardt School of Business perhaps is the Student Investment Fund and uh, being members in the Student Investment Fund, students get hands-on experience with investment decisions running more than $3 million of real money in the actual financial markets 
using the cutting edge tools such as the Bloomberg terminal that is uh, the premier tool in the investment banking industry. Yeah, wow. So finance is really just, you know, a lot more than when we think about, you know, stock markets and then like, you know, foreign exchange. And so for our last um, question of the day, which I think is very interesting, um, it is known in the business field that studies in accounting, finance, and economics are pretty similar. And what do you think will compel students to choose finance in the three areas? So Bernice, you're right in that accounting and finance and economic have quite a bit of overlap, but there is also significant differences uh, in the curriculum of these different disciplines and also in the types of job opportunities that these disciplines, that these fields of study lead to. Finance is best suited for students who want to pursue careers in uh, firms as financial analysts or in investment banks as financial analysts or to students who want to graduate and become uh, portfolio managers or wealth managers or financial planners. And each one of these different lines of careers uh, will lead students to a different path, uh, to a fruitful and interesting path. As financial planners, for example, students can help their clients um, identify and meet their long-term retirement savings goals or other savings goals and identify the best and optimal structures to attain these goals. As portfolio managers, students would take their clients' money and manage it in an optimal portfolio, just like our students are doing with the funds in the Student Investment Fund at the Eberhardt School of Business. Um, as a financial um, analyst in a company, for example, uh, which we have great relationships with many different companies from around the Bay Area, from around California that hire our students as financial analysts. And our students go on and get involved in fundamental decisions of uh, how to allocate the resources of the company in different projects and different uh, capital budgeting projects. Uh, or students can pursue a career in investment banking, uh, analyzing the underlying risks and profitabilities of different uh, financial instruments, such as stocks and bonds, and perhaps more exotic financial instruments. So perhaps the greatest differentiator of finance from both the accounting and economics is um, in the types of job opportunities that it leads to. Uh, nevertheless, there is great uh, overlap among these different uh, fields. And uh, needless to say, finance students would benefit significantly from taking various courses from both the accounting field and also the economics field, and it would make them even stronger candidates in the job market when they're looking for jobs. All right, that will conclude our interview today. Um, thank you, Professor and Lee, for joining us. Thank you, Bernice, for talking to me today. It was a pleasure speaking and telling our students and prospective students about our finance program. Yeah, we hope you like this episode and want to learn more about our finance program. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.